Okay, there's Genji from earlier, but I don't think we know any names. That's a good thing to do while podcast listening. Did you have someone juicy? I'll think about it. You missed a double support Vala game earlier. Uh, juice cake. Yeah, juice cakes. <laughs> yes. The uh, the blazes, the Tychus not so juice cake. Uh, lacking cake, I believe it was, but plenty juice. We got all these great terminologies, you know, salt wall, juice cakes. Oh, and congratulations to Bahamut on his Twitch partnership as of today. Johanna player. Yeah, cool. We got a tank. We got a Li Ming. Okay, assassin. We got. Oh, we have a support main. Okay. So looks like I'm I'm Bruiser. I actually get to play Bruiser. What's going on here? This is a wow. This is a really filled out. Okay. Man, Bruiser alongside Kel'Thuzad. You know what I like with that? I like some Imperius. I like following up sweet stuns. I like engaging and making sweet stuns happen for my party. And Imperius is a good time. Well, thank you for saying so, Tars. Elian, good to see you. Yeah, I'm happy that Mac was able to... Uh, Give us kind of a view of the past with HGC and foster that conversation. It was a cool thing to revisit after being away from it for so long. Gary and I just never stopped playing the game, but the world kind of changed around us. It's an interesting thing. Anna? I don't think it changes me. We're doing double mage. That's okay. I can do a lot of... It's all spell damage, but I can do a lot of inda a lot of damage on Imperius here. I didn't expect that from you, but... I... Oh, okay. This is actually quite a bit of play, though. Just wanted to play some Mephisto. Muradin. That'll be good for my Imperius. Eh, Valera. Probably wants to mess up my Ana and my Mephisto. Gross. That is a... <laughs> nice name. We got some great names in this one. A Rhaegar Ban. Hmm. Camps are important on Alterac Pass, and they're very frequent. Oh, no, okay. We're assuming Basic is going to do Johanna. Nope, it's Ban. Heading over to Diablo. What does that leave Mitch with? Yeah, he doesn't want to do double mage, particularly into Valera. Too gankable in the back. Because you're picking... You're picking basic. For the frozen... Interesting, a Nubarak for the Kael'thas, but a Nubarak. I actually guess I don't know how that would do into Valera. White Mane will certainly encourage the a Nubarak. Okay, so a Nubarak just got really good. I'd be afraid of getting Valera locked down in the middle of my buggy business. Man, I'd say just bring... I 
think just doing double mage isn't a bad idea here. Yeah. I think you stick with it. It sucks that there's a Valir over there, but... I think you just draft your guns. Let's see this guy's guns. Double. Oh, we have a three stack. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Initialization in progress. I'm still on. I'm still on soap from the CCL. So Muradin, Sonia. Increase the damage, a cooldown reduced. Each Valor's brand on the target when stunned. Each Valorous planet on the target Time when the stun remaining. completes. That's really interesting text. Slow, slow amount. Five, four, I don't really have anything three, that can directly two, help out my team in the one. back, and Valir is going to be pretty wiggly, so I think we just burn the Impure, kill Sonya, kill Muradin, and then address the rest of the, the issue after that. Seeing if he can get forward. Where are they? Oh, they're avoiding Kel'Thuzad. Alright. Hey, everybody. Oh, nice catch. Oh, man, I hope I don't die. Ah, nice hit, though. A good start. Oh, okay. My bad. What is the hard counter to KT? Which KT in the game right now are you talking about? Uh, Mediv is probably the strongest counter to Kalthazad. Though you can Zarya. Yeah, I mean, that, that, would, that would get the job done. I feel like Zarya just doesn't move enough to stop the Kel'Thuzad, and therefore she kind of becomes a, a stack target. We just kind of, like, hit each other over and over again. I guess she wins it. Because of the lane minions. Dude, did they? That would have been nice. They got that kill, but... Get a little healing off this lane, but we're certainly not Sonya. Well, let's not attack Sonya while she's whirlwinding, then. Kite me pretty well too. Making sure I can't get in those autos. I guess she's fought some Imperiuses before. How long on our camp? 22 seconds. We found our soldiers. Capture the Horde's prison camp, but make sure they don't capture us. They're all over that. The new Brack is in a distant, distant. Oh my goodness, they're collapsing. There goes Valera too. Well, they're going back in. I figured we'd wait and we'd be waiting. Valir is going to kill me. 
Uh, bummer. Well, I could blame a new Brack, but I wasn't exactly there for my team either. And they desperately need frontline. Wow, he lives. Nice. Alright, how stacked are they going to be in terms of, like, on top of each other? That's going to make our decision about... I think we have to do Blaze of Glory because I'm getting kited. And that'll actually help us hit the Sonya. I could save this. You go away, Valera. Yeah, I'm gonna save it, but there's not a lot of juice left. I basically have to bail. In case the rest of the team's coming in to gank me. Are they doing a boss? She just wants to push it in. Your death is at hand. Oh, we kept it going. No, no. What did Kelp? Uh, he got ganked by. He died in lane? Select, Boy, Cloak of Shadows and Block. At least we're getting the XP for the team, but. Someone else is here now. All right, time's up. Party's over. Hopefully that Sonya dies. How are we doing on stacks? Okay, we're actually okay on stacks. Getting there. But with double mage, I guess we're having trouble completing kills. I need to get a motor. Oh. You darn tootin' archer. I think we just collapse back on Sonya if we can. Nubrak, thinking about coming around. Nice sleep try. I can't really give the position to go soak because I'm part of the front line with the Nubrak. That's pretty good. Now we gotta save Mephisto. Uh. 
Oh, he got his orbs done? Did he really get his orbs done already? What's going on? Oh, there's a Sony in my way. Wow, I can't believe, yeah, he's already done. I'm trying to save my mana for Molten Armor. I mean, it still worked. It was good timing. Oh, they're piling on port. Poor Zod. He's actually rezzed already. And he will have cooldown reduction. Uh, he doesn't have it. Oh. I think we have time. That's a lot of XP in the bottom lane, though. And the top lane as well. Mephisto's got the damage. Oh, I gotta keep this party rolling. I'm gonna be comboed. Okay. How is Zod Stacks doing? He's almost done! The rat skin? You talking about the like the demon skin? Yeah, I like I like I like classic Imperius. I'm down with you. That's like Leoric. I mean, I I play Golden Boy Leoric because, you know, it's it's Golden Boy Leoric, but the base skin is just the best. Uh oh. There's there's something going down up there. Uh, two dead. Anubrax dead. I would love to take boss, but that's not going to happen. So I'll just soak bottom. Lowers armor. I don't think we need to... Actually, teleport would help us catch up here and there. We're not doing attack speed because we're not getting a lot of autos in. Game 25 Can I even afford to dive? I gotta keep my Kel'Thuzad going. I think we just kind of see if Kel'Thuzad can win the day. Sonya coming around. Or just charging the objective, either way. Yes, they did. I believe they took away some of the... ...reduction problems.
Like it used to have a downside that was a lot stronger. I've got no mana. Okay, we got to get on that and I got to grab some mana. We don't have a way to get on that. Bummer. Okay. I'm just going to grab some mana then. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Am I going to pick it? Oh, I think I need to do Heavenly Host. It is unstoppable. Spell armor. I think Heavenly Host gives Kel'Thuzad a buffer, though. And it's cool, for what it's worth. New Brack invested. That's a miss. Okay, cool. Well, we just reset. any luck we're just trying to like ruin what white mane's trying to make happen hit her with swords is pretty sweet that's a good move though okay we lost the keep in the middle but we get objective, and can we do a boss? That core will take care of itself. I don't think you got a back for it, but I didn't see his mana either. We're gonna do Heavenly Host. Alright, I gotta make sure Kel'Thuzad doesn't get ganked by Valera. Maybe we can take this to core? Big plays o'clock. Save my back line. We gotta get out of the circles. Oh, she got me. You all gotta run. You wish they didn't design Imperius as a Mark hero after Orphea, they went and released Imperius and Kira? Oh, that's an interesting thought. I mean, they definitely made room for it by getting rid of, like, old, old Illidan marks. And they didn't really do anything with it after they changed Illidan, so it makes me think that those kind of heroes were in the works for a really long time. 
That's fair. I think that's why I only really pick Imperious when I'm thinking about Burn the Impure. Because it makes the marks much more satisfying to remove. But yeah, otherwise, I, I, I'm not much for his other builds. I draft him rather particular here. I should have turned around and stunned Sonya in that case, though. Are they gonna... They're clearing. They're going boss. There's Muradin, though. And Kel'Thuzad, they might be a little slow. Oh, oh! What happened, though? I'm going down. Not a bad game, though. Fun Imperious. I guess, really, we... I don't think we empowered Kel'Thuzad enough. Maybe the Mephisto pick. Threw him for a loop. Maybe a Nubarak got stuck in the solo lane too long. Wait. No, no, no. They're still a boss. That'll be the end. What's your play is this? This is Diamond 3. It's a diamond. He died a lot in the early game. They had 51k. Oh, oh don't, 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 yeah, don't be hating. Don't be hating. He's a Kalthazad main. Granted, he's a Diamond 5, but I think it was the Mephisto on a, a Nubarak that we're all in a group together. Uh, he probably should have picked something else, but at the same time... Valyra did well. She definitely zoned me out for the early game. We got some cool moves, but White Mane piled on top of our pile. 